Hello everyone, welcome back. And today I have a quiz for grade four kids. And it is related with your chapter number one since we are doing chapter one. So it is a kind of revision that you will have and I hope that you will enjoy it too. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you one slide. It's basically MCQ. So there will be four options and I'll be showing you the question, complete question. And after five to 10 seconds, I'll be telling you the answer also. So if you want to take a more than 10 seconds to think, you can just pause the video and solve it and then check your answer. After every question, I'm going to reveal the answer. All right, so we are good to go. Let's get started. All right, so this is grade four, mathematics, number system, multiple choice questions, and all the best, everyone. Okay, so the first question over here is, what is the least five digit number? So options are there in front of you, A, B, C, D. What is the least five digit number? Absolutely easiest one, the least five digit number. When we have the first number that is of five digits. So after 9,999, we have 10,000. So 10,000 is the least five digit number. It has five digits, right? All right, great. Let's move ahead. Oh, question number two over here. What is the largest six digit number? Come on. I gave you a hint in question number one. This would be easy. Largest six digit numbers. The largest six digit number, which is the last six digit number. And after that, seven digit numbers start. Yes, well done. Largest six digit number is this one and if we mark the periods over here this is 9,99,999 well done guys this is the largest six digit number all right let's move ahead in the number system what do you mean by a period I'll give you some time, read, up, read down the options and answer. Um, yeah, a period is a group of places in the number system. A period is a method to find the total of digits in a number. A period is a place in one's period or none of the above. What do you think? Yes, it's a period is a group of places in the number system. And in the Indian, Indian uh, place value system, we have one period, thousands period, lakhs period, yeah? Wonderful. Next question, all of you. In the Indian place value system, one stands hundreds places, comes under which period? I think I just gave you the answer before this question. Come on, it's the easiest one. Mm, absolutely, one period. In Indian place value system, one stands hundreds comes in the one period. And this is the first period in the Indian place value chart. All right. Question number five, which places comes under the thousands period? Should I give you more time? I don't think so. Yeah, thousands period. We have thousands and ten thousands. In the thousands period, we have ten thousands and thousands places. There are only two places in thousands period in the Indian place value chart. Question number six. Which place comes after the last place? Read the question thoroughly. 
it's not talking about period it's talking about place yes 10 lakhs wonderful good going kids good going so which place comes after the lakhs place 10 lakhs place wonderful and lakhs and 10 lakhs both of them together comes under which period answer oh thank god i didn't give you the answer here is the question number seven lakhs and 10 lakhs places comes under which period wonderful lakhs period yes lakhs period lakhs and 10 lakhs places comes under lakhs period and thousands period remember thousand and ten thousands wonderful next question how do you show periods in a large number yeah when when there is a number written a large number how do you show period in that read down the options is it that we put commas after every digit mm? or is it we put commas after each period or is it that we put dots after each period or do we put dots after every digit so what do you think guys yes absolutely we put commas after each period we put commas after each period so if a number is there suppose the number is nine 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 let me just write down nine so over here if i have to put periods i will first see this is once place tens place hundreds place so all these these three places together are once play period so i'll put the comma over here after every period wonderful children next question which is the same as 80 10 thousand which is the same as 80, 10,000. Pink. Absolutely, 8 lakh. Yes, 80, 10,000. 80 is already there, right? So then 10,000. So how much is this? 8 lakh. Wonderful. 100,000 equals to dash lakhs. So now 100,000 make how many lakhs? It's, it's lakh or lakhs, all right? Yeah. Yeah, simple. You just write it down if you are not a hundred. Now thousands, thousands have how many zeros? Three. So you have one lag. Wonderful. You have one lag. Wonderful. Good try. Good try. Even if you have got the wrong answer, but I hope now you have understood hundred thousands. If you're not able to get the answer, you can just put the zeros of the like thousands place thousands place have three zeros so i have put three zeros after 100 yeah all right next question this is second last question what the difference between the greatest five digit number and the greatest four digit number is come on now this is something interesting think 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 I know you want some time to calculate, to write it down, yeah? Absolutely, the answer is 90,000. Now, first of all, what is the greatest five digit number? Five times nine, yeah? So it is 99,999 
and the greatest four digit number is 9999 the difference difference means subtraction so their difference is 90000 all right good going kids last question and then you are good to go how many zeros are there in 20 lakh how many zeros come on how many zeros in 20 lakh i'll give you one hint you know 20 all right then lakh how many zeros are there in lakh put the zeros and then count the number of zeros So here it is 20 and then lakh. So lakh has five zeros, right? So here it is, it is 20 lakh and how many zeros are here? Six. Wonderful kids, wonderful. Wonderful kids. I hope you had uh, fun, uh, you know, doing this quiz. I had fun making this quiz and also taking it along with you. So see you next time. Bye, everyone. Bye.